Chrissy, Sam and Brownie. It's a podcast bonus. Catch him Monday. Tom, oh, Tom Gleisner, welcome. Thanks, Chrissy. Lovely to be back. And uh, mid-season, we're sort of, you know, limping along with the with the show. It's uh, <laughs> limping. Right, limping. Yeah. Jeez, so he's supposed to come in it's with great, energy and the show's great. never been better and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a great vote of confidence. No, it is. It's, it's Who's fun. on the show tonight? Do you really want to know? Yes. No. Okay. Apart uh, from Sam. Not apart from Sam and Ed. Uh, Marty Sheargold, Emma Holland, uh, Lizzie Who? I love um, Lizzie Who. Yeah. I love her when yes, she's on. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> indeed. I thought you like that real high, highbrow sort of comedy. Well yeah. done, John. <laughs> Lizzie Who is sitting next to me on the front row. Oh, so fun. Really? Mm. Poor, poor Marty is a minority tonight as a <laughs> middle-aged white man. Hey, uh, the yeah. only thing is, too, to never forget the uh, connection and association you have with this show, Tom. Yeah. Our first, first ever guest. guest. Our first, first ever guest. I was, I was wow. just yes, thinking yes, yes. that, Sam. You know, Granny, do you remember? Well, no. it was a long time ago. No, no. He was our first ever guest and he will be our last. I think mm, we're going to wrap right. things up at the Isn't end right? of the Wow, there's, a, there's yeah. a, a threat or, <laughs> or an offer. I'll take it as either. <laughs> No, very exciting. The no, show is actually not in bad form, isn't it? As a, isn't it? As a producer, as a, someone who no, you know. ab- absolutely. Look, it's it's such a it's such a fun show to do mm. every every Monday night. We sort of uh, I genuinely have no idea what's coming my way, which is part of the right. part of the charm. It's of good it. to hear that because anyways, there is a lot of talk around town that you know your new baby, the cheap seats, is kind of your favourite <laughs> child now. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. that the new the, shiny new toy. Yeah, well, you, we, you you stray. There's a certain period in any relationship when you start looking for you know a little bit of. Something extra? Did you, no, did you enjoy but, the uh, the masked singer lead in? It was. Uh, it, uh, masked, I love the way the masked singer gets to have two sets of ratings. It's the show and then it's the winner revealed. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering whether we should do that on Have You Been Paying Attention? <laughs> you know, like the show and then Around the Grounds <laughs> can have its own separate coding for ratings. Absolutely. Same with the couch. I mean, two different. The, there's the show and then there's the tips at the end when you're out of things to talk about. That's mm. right. Uh, oh, what about the encore, Sam? Through the roof. We've forgotten about the encore. Don't forget, two, two hours later. later. Two hours later. Buzzer check, please. Chris, 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 Chris. Yeah, right. Let's see who has been paying attention. Oh, Sam's Sam. is not working. But we'll just take it as... A, as there as, we no. go. Plug it in, Sam. Oh, Go. Just an awkward silence will be Sam's button. Just like your life. <laughs> Thank Plug you. yourself in. <laughs> NASA, I'm trying to get this quiz on the road. NASA called off its latest launch attempt of the Artemis rocket. What, what went wrong? Uh, Sam. Sam. In trouble with the muffler. <laughs> 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 Any money of the Juggernaut. No? Close, Bradley. It wasn't the right time on the rocket clock. It was, oh, nice. <laughs> yes, John. Nice. Come nice on. Skills. I'm going to give it to Sam because it, it was mechanical. It was I'm a, so a le- yeah. Well done. A leak in the hydrogen tank. In the delivery. Yeah. Right. He's, he's undone you the underrated com- comedic performance. There you go. Oh. Thank you, Dino. Oh. Oh, hey, Meghan Markle's new podcast that featured, of course, Serena Williams as her first guest. Who was her second big guest? Chrissy, Chrissy Swan. Swan. Was it- I think it was supposed to be her dad, Thomas Markle, but where is he? They don't let him near microphones, I think, is the general rule. <laughs> Sitting on a beach, sucking Coronas yeah. in Mexico. Yes, right. yeah. So they say, they, you would have heard this on... Uh, Juggernaut. Stuff, Juggernaut. But no, Juggernaut. Brownie. Prince Andrew, I think it was. was no, no, the, no. Yeah, again, microphones. Sam. Um, Sam. The steady hand of Conrad Sewell. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, this is one of yours. One of yours, Samuel Mariah Carey. Mariah was the oh, really? guest Sorry. number two. I guess this room at the, you, get it right, Twenty. The late great Mariah right, Carey. She's you. not Ted. Well, uh, <laughs> when she was out from here from certain angles. <laughs> All right. From certain angles, and if you went to a con- concert when she was coughing and wheezing through a crisp fifty-seven minutes, it, come on. <laughs> And she was she was carried through the entire no, performance, exactly. which is something that I can really, God, really? Not get right. behind. This is uh, Chris. You might want to sit this one out. The new Live Golf Tournament has announced that for the first time, players will be allowed to wear what? Juggernaut. Uh, Gimp mask is going to yes. restrict your driving. Uh, Sam. Uh, Sam. Blackface. Is <laughs> <laughs> no. Chris is You idiots. The answer's shorts. 
I didn't oh. realise this, but that you're not allowed to wear in the in the PGA. I know. Yeah, and this is going to do a lot. I was for surprised ratings. because the, the ladies are allowed to wear in the LPGA. <laughs> the, they're allowed to the have ladies the skirts, are allowed to wear or the skorts or shorts. But uh, no, I think nothing more uh, people want than uh, middle-aged men in shorts. So that's going to really. <laughs> all right, you, you learned that the hard way, Tom. Yeah. You? <laughs> yeah, you're you're wide pins. Tomorrow, England's new Prime Minister, we'll find out who it is, will be meeting the Queen, but it won't be at Buckingham Palace. Where will it be? Princess Swan! Uh, at the front of Entrecot? Yeah, <laughs> just a nice casual catch up. Sounds straight me in to me. Yes. <laughs> okay, anyone know where this going to take place, Sam? It's, uh, it's at Balmoral, I yeah, believe. Yes, she's not travelling. Yes. Well, yeah, mm. she's. She can't travel, can she, at the moment? It's the monkey pox. No, it's, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem. Um. <laughs> Russia lost one of its most famous citizens this week. Who was Juggernaut. It? Juggernaut. Was it General Orlov from the 1983 James Bond film Octopussy? Certainly one of their greatest citizens, but no. I don't think Princess it was. Astonishing. Astonishing. I think it was one of the girls from the great band Tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Russian, Tom. They were uh, they were the you know the forerunners of Pussy Riot. Um, they were into heat. Uh, it, Sam, it was uh, it was Mikhail Gorbachev. Yes, who was uh, I found I was reading he wanted to be buried next to his wife. That's correct. And three opposition leaders. No, no. So that's, that was his final <laughs> final wish. I he, he died peacefully, surrounded by yes. KGB officers. Um, <laughs> drama at Movie World on the Gold Coast yesterday. What happened? Juggernaut. This morning. Uh, was it Warwick Kappa stole a Batmobile and was chased by the cast Kappa of Police was not Academy? Involved. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a good ride. Right. <laughs> there was a, a Scooby Doo ride that had to get stopped because mm. somebody flashed their boobies. And what I want to know, Jonathan, is your wife was on the Gold Coast on the weekend. <laughs> what was she up to? Did she have a three park pass? Wow. Can we rule her out? I'm, Can we rule her no, out? No, we can't rule her out. Interesting. That's wow. interesting. Yeah. School drop off too. She'd be right with I blame. <laughs> I blame those meddling kids if it was up to that. <laughs> yeah. Are stuff. you accusing <laughs> Kylie Brown of getting the bath plugs out? Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes I am. Yes, yes, we were. Sometimes there's thing. only one thing for it, you know. <laughs> oh, we all know the feeling. All right, Donald Trump. <laughs> Trying to get this quiz back on yeah. track here. Sorry, Donald Tommy. Trump was fired up at a rally on the weekend. Take a listen. Before the entire world, the entire world was watching, and they're shocked. They're shocked. What is the entire world shocked by? <sighs> oh, Sam. Sam. Hughesy's guest of Melody Thornton. <laughs> <laughs> seem, they were shocked by that. Be, yeah, but a little closer to <laughs> Mr. Trump's world. He's not happy. He's still angry. He's <laughs> angry. Good, ratings, good ratings period, though. That's that was right. the winner's announcement. Yeah, that was the raid on his home. Mar- yes, the Mar- 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 they find out the When they find out what happens, you know, what's the aftermath of the actual raid. No, they, they keep mm. teasing with the, you know, we've got boxes of documents and but it, yeah, it's, it's and also who was shocked by that? Well, Donald. Well, he's claiming mm. the whole world was shocked. I yeah. wasn't. No. Okay, all right. Cocaine Cassie. Uh, oh. She's she's back. She arrived home from Colombia. What TV show is she appearing on? Juggernaut. Juggernaut. Is it mates on a mission? Is <laughs> <laughs> she was on one. <laughs> Yeah, border security. It's okay. got to be, hasn't it? Yeah, well, be awesome. That's a big uh, hour and a half episode. No, she's going to be on. I've it's not, not a mission. Uh, she was on some Channel Seven current affairs show called Spotlight. I'm not. Ah, yeah. uh, Spotlight uh, yes. is a, Spotlight's a, a great show when it comes to investigative journalism. Really, that's my go-to. Who Can hosts I, it? What? <laughs> I'm going to look that up on 7 no, Plus. I've got a question for you, Tom. I had a question for you. Half, oh, you got a question before nah, the score check? Halftime score check. Swanee on three. John on one. Pang also on three. Moderate, high, extreme and catastrophic. What am I talking Precious about? Precision one. The impact of children on your lifestyle. It's pretty much. Uh, on the one day too. A brownie. I agree with that, Swanee, but it was the last two years of my career. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at the moment? Catastrophic, okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and the, no playing uh, career. And the, uh, career. And the epilogue, I believe, is what it's called. The, uh, uh, no, it's the new uh, fire danger rating system. Yes, yes, we well, yes. cleaned it up. Hey, Barack Obama, former president, just won an Emmy Award uh, for appearing in what? Prissy Swan. <laughs> Euphoria. It would be an interesting, uh, <laughs> interesting uh, you can do anything. casting choice. That man can, can do anything. anything. Can. This, I'll give you a clue. Sounds like the most Sam. boring thing in the world, a brownie. Uh, it was the Netflix documentary series, Our Great National Parks. Hey, kids, we're going to watch a show. What is it called? Our Great National Parks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a bit 
Rich coming from a man who did a fishing show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that, Brown? You ever see his fishing show? No. Him and Rob Sitch did a fishing show. A river show. somewhere. A river Thanks. somewhere. What, how would you describe that show, Don? Wonderful. Uh, catastrophic. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly extreme. All right. What is Junk the Reserve it. Bank... Oh, hey, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> what is the Reserve Bank predicted to do tomorrow? Juggernaut. Oh. Juggernaut. Give everyone a box set of a river somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> that'll, that'll fix things. Great for Sam, Sam, do what they normally do. Just have a guess. Mm. They're gonna, no, little, no, they're gonna, they're, no. The, the story is they're going to... Hike, hike the interest the cash rate, rate. Up, over, up over 2%. Fun. Sam, you've got about four investment properties you're a little bit, uh, a little bit yeah, nervous about at the moment. Let's be realistic, 2% is still okay. Yeah, you can manage that, Sam. Brownie's going to have to Oof. remove one of his moats or something, the drawbridge will come down. I'm pretty sure yeah. I remember an 8. I remember paying 8% at the start. I do too. 20 yeah. odd years ago. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, close to half a million people crowded into Brisbane on Saturday night for what event? Brownie, you'd know this one. Yes. The regular one. Does it involve cane toads? <laughs> Possibly on fire. Um, no, no, the River Fire. Yeah, it's, it's huge. River fire. What's that? The River Fire Festival, well, they have a, a series of... Um, sort of entertainment and fireworks and all that sort of stuff down the river because it is the River City, Brisbane. It's all around the city and they celebrate the river being Uh, the central part of it. It's like Moomba for pyromaniacs, basically. It is. Sick of hearing about all these other things that are going on in in other states, like the, the river what? River fire. And Ecker and all these mm-hmm. things. Right. What, what's Adelaide have? The rolling of the barrels or whatever they have yeah. over there. I don't care about all these things. Rolling of the barrels, yeah. All right. Let's, um, <laughs> let's get back to closer to Nova's uh, heartland here. Let's hear some emotional words. From Dave? Yes. <laughs> From the clue that we set up before, Dino. <laughs> Sing and dance and laugh and cry and <laughs> scream. Who is speaking so emotively there? <laughs> I know who. Chrissy Swan. Swan. That was very emotional. That's Dave Grohl uh, from the Foo Fighters because uh, the drummer who passed away, Taylor Hawkins, Taylor, Taylor Hawkins, yes. his son took to the stage. He did play drums oh, with him. Really? Have you not seen it? No. Oh my god, you'll love it, Dino. It's he does such an amazing job. He's just a teenager. He's incredible. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right. He, all right, it sounds all like right, you. All right, let's move on. Right. I didn't mean that, Chrissy. That sounded very rude. Um, okay, yeah, where do we go? All right, who yeah. was just named Father of the Year? Mm. Chrissy, Chrissy Swan. Swan. Charlie Sheen. Is, uh, it, I should clarify, Australian Father Sam. of the Year. Oh. Sam. Well, he was nominated for two different families. The great Barnaby Joyce he was taken out again. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, he had an unfair advantage, I would argue. Sadly. One on a multi. No. Oh, sure. Brownie, it's all yours. Craig Foster. Yes, exactly. Sam, you should have known that, being an old soccer boy. Absolutely. All right. Shall we call this a tiebreaker? Yes. Absolutely. All, right. all okay, on four. All on four. four. Yeah, John, you've come back. Late run. Here we go. Late run. A recent Harry Styles concert was interrupted after someone threw what? Chris 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 Fourteen double D bra uh, with C Swan written on and it. Took him, <laughs> took him, but knocked him out. Sam. No, uh, Sam. Was it a George Foreman grill? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's food related. So oh, you're trying to get all pretty. And it's controversial. It was a chicken nugget, oh. and he is a vegetarian. Oh, really? Swanee. <laughs> on five points. Tommy. Well done, Swan. So much fun. Thank you so much. Watch tonight. Six. Uh, what are we? Eight forty. After the amazing race. Whenever it wraps up. Whenever. Watch, Whenever. have you been paying attention tonight? One of the greatest shows uh, on television. Thank you so much for Thank coming. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you, everyone. Well, Chrissy, Sam and Brown, every show will be back tomorrow. Chrissy, Sam and Brown, oh, unless it's a weekend. Here's the 100.